What is up guys and welcome to a brand new economics video. So in this video you will be learning how to construct a weighted price index. So by the end of this video you will understand what a weighted price index is and you will be able to calculate a weighted price index. This is a really important skill because about 15% of your A-level, your A-level paper, could be or will be quantitative methods, so things like calculations, interpreting data, graph drawing, and this is one of those calculation skills, therefore, that, that could come up and that you need to master. So let's first of all take a situation in which there are no weights, and we're going to assume that households are spending their money on just two categories, food and clothes. So in this example, food is given a price index of 110. So the price index for food is 110. And the price index for clothes is 104. Now, if we were taking a simple uh, non-weighted price index, all we would do is take a simple average of these two numbers. So 110 plus 104 divided by 2 gives us a non-weighted price index of 107. So the average price index in that example would be 107. If we now add some weights in to our example, we're going to pretend that households are spending twice as much of their money on food as they are on clothes. So we're giving food a weighting of 2 in column 3 there, and we're giving clothes a weighting of 1 to reflect the fact that households are spending more of their money on food. In fact, twice the amount on food as they are on clothes. So to calculate the weighted CPI, what we do is we multiply the price index in column 2 by the number of weights in column 3. So that's 110 times 2, which equals 220, and then 104 times 1 equals 104. We then have to work out the total weighted CPI for the two items, which is 220 plus 104, which is 324. And then to get the weighted average price index, what we do is we divide the weighted CPI in column 4 by the number of weights in column 3. So in this case, that is 324 divided by 3, which gives us a weighted price index of 108. Notice that this is different to the non-weighted price index we calculated earlier, which is 107. The, the new answer, 108, it reflects the fact that food carries a greater weighting than clothes. Now, the examiner could give you the data, the weights, in a separate, a different format. So this time we've got the same weights as we had before, but this time they're given in percentage terms. So food, because it is twice the weighting of clothes and there are only two categories in the index, food will be given a weighting of 66.7% and clothes will be given a weighting of 33.3%. Um, it's very unlikely that you would have to determine the weights yourselves. These would probably be, be given to you. So you might be given data like this. So how would you calculate the weighted price index in this example? So what you would do is you would take the price index and multiply by the percentage weighting uh, for each category and add them together. So for food, the weighted price index is 110 multiplied by 0.667. And the weighted price index for clothes is 104 multiplied by 0.333. And then if we add those together, we get the same answer that we had before, which is a weighted price index of 108. Okay, so that's the weighted price index. But finally, uh, you might also be asked to calculate the inflation rate from this data, not the price index. Remember, these are different. The price index is the general price level, whereas inflation rate is the percentage change in the price index or the price level. So this time we've converted the price index data for food and clothes into inflation rate data. So the rate of inflation for food uh, is 10% and the rate of inflation for clothes is 4%. So we assume a base of 100 and because food had a level of 110, that's a 10% increase and clothes had a weight of 104, so that's a 4% increase. To get the weighted inflation rate, we do basically the same thing as we did for the weighted price index. We multiply column 2 by column 3. So this time we multiply the inflation rate by the number of weights. So 
In this case, it's 10 times 2 equals 20, and then 4 times 1 equals 4, giving us a weighted inflation rate of 24. So to get the average inflation rate, the correct inflation rate, we have to take the weighted inflation rate divided by the number of weights, 24 divided by 3, gives us an answer of 8%. Notice that this is the same answer as if we multiply by the percentage weighting 10 times 0.667 plus 4 times 0.333, which is 8%. Okay, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you're new to hear and see plenty more economic, economics content. And I'll see you next time.